Alrighty, I'm back. Good morning, boys and girls. We're here with another science activity. Um, this one's actually really easy to replicate um, at home. Um, you can get your whole family involved. Um, we're going to be making predictions which items we think are going to sink or float. I have Mr. Fisher here playing my student. Hello. He's going to kind of be an example of what you guys are going to do at home. So I have here our little graphic, our little table here. Um, make a prediction and I've already chosen six items that we're going to use for this example. Um, Mr. Fisher is going to predict whether he thinks it's going to sink or float and he's going to put his answer over here on the right side of the table. Um, and I have a tub of water here along with all of the items. If you do this at home, it'd be kind of fun competition between family members see who predicts the correct answer. So what we're gonna do first, let me show you all of our items. We have a key, right here, key. We have, no, oh, it rolled away, a hard boiled egg, it's hard boiled. That might make a difference, we'll see. We have just some foil that I crumpled up into a ball, kind of loosely, it's not super tight. We have an apple, a full, I said it's a soda can, it's one of my La Croix that I drink all the time, you guys recognize these, and the very bottom, one of our rulers from class. So if you're doing this at home, you can pick any six items or however many you want around the house, try it yourself. For this activity, I would suggest that you just get a piece of paper and follow along with us. You can make a little chart just like I did here. You're going to label the items off to the side and then you're just going to make a prediction whether you think it's going to sink or float. So while you're writing this down, I'll let you get a little glimpse of everything here. You put your item, sink or float over here. So our first item, you can pause the video, make your chart and then press play when you are ready to guess. Mr. Fisher, what do you think will happen to the key? Will it sink or will it float? Hmm, I think it will sink. I think it will sink. So, go ahead, write your answer, sink or float. You think it will sink. Boys and girls, what do you think? Do you think the key will sink or float? You don't have to follow what Mr. Fisher says, by the way. You can do your own guess. And he is just our example to show you how to follow along at home. Okay. Our next item, the hard boiled egg. That means this guy was boiled in hot water for about 12 minutes. And he's been sitting in my fridge for about a week. So, what do you think will happen to the hard boiled egg? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think it might float. Okay, might float. What do you think at home? Do you think it'll sink or float? Let's hope it does not break. Alrighty, next, we have a ball of foil. Remember, this is kind of loosely put together, not really tight. What do you think is gonna happen to the ball of foil? I think it's gonna float. Okay, he thinks it's gonna float. At home, what do you think, boys and girls? Will the ball of foil sink or float? We will see. Thank you for using your nice handwriting. Next, we have an apple. Okay, not terribly big, not one of the Costco kinds. What do you think is going to happen to the apple? Hmm. Sink or float? I was thinking when you bob for apples, they aren't going to be at the bottom, so I think they might float. Ooh, I like how you had to relate it to a real life situation when you've seen it out in the world. Float. Okay, two more. I'll drop it down so you can see the rest. Now we have a soda can that is not opened yet, so it is full. What do you think will happen to the soda can? Hmm. I'm thinking of the summertime when all the ice melts in an ice chest. For some reason, I think they float. I'm okay, I like it. Up. Another real world example. Applying what happens in the classroom. Alrighty, the last one. One of our rulers, which I will use in a math video later this week. What do you think will happen to the ruler? Will it sink 
or float? Hmm. I'm going to say float too. Okay. Alrighty. If you are doing this on your own, go ahead and finish your predictions. If you're doing this as a family and you have other members at home also making their predictions, make sure you're all locked in before we get started here. You can pause because we're about to try all these items in our water here. So let's bring it over here. One last look at our items. Sink, float, oh, you predicted most items will float except for the key. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's bring it over here. Alrighty, here's our bucket. Okay, Mr. Fisher, you predicted the key would sink. You at home, what did you think would happen with the key? We're about to find out. Here we go. Yes! Sunk pretty good. You got one for one. Alrighty, Mr. Fisher, what's the next item on our list? Our next item is the hard-boiled egg. Okay, this one. Let's hope this isn't Branker. It's going to be stinky like when the egg in the barn exploded in Charlotte's Web. The big explosion. Okay, hard-boiled egg. Here we go. You can come around. <laughs> See if you got this one right. No. Oh, it sunk. What did you predict? I predicted that it would You thought it would float? float? Oh, this guy sunk straight to the ground. And he's probably pretty old, too, so I won't mess around with him too much. Mr. Fisher, our next item, the ball of foil. What did you predict at home? Let's give it a try. Mr. Fisher thought it would float. float. Here we go. Oh, you got that one. So you're two out of three right now. Got only one item that is floating. Okay, next, what do we have? The apple. Mm, looks good. Okay, make sure you've got your answer at home. Sink or float, here we go. Oh, it's floating! Just like your bobbing for apples example. It's sinking a little bit, but most of it is floating. It's a little heavier, very cool. Okay, so that item floats. We have two items that are floating, two items that have sunk. We have two items left. Next, we have the LaCroix that is full. Oh boy, are we ready? Oh, check that out. Let me get it away from the egg here. Is it touching the bottom? It is hard to tell, but there's a good section of it that is still floating up. So I like that you use the ice chest example. You don't usually dig too far down when you've got melted ice in the ice chest. You can still get some that are kind of floating on the top. Last, the ruler. Let's give this a shot. Here we go. Oh, and there's our answer. Sunk to the bottom. Mr. Fisher, how many did you get right? I got four right. Alrighty, four right. You at home, see who won in your family if you were competing against each other. If you were doing your own, see how many you got right. Mm. I'm gonna post this video onto Google Classroom, also YouTube. Um, but if you're on Google Classroom, go ahead and comment below. Tell me how you, how your predictions went, what you thought would happen, and if you were correct or not. Um, that's the fun part about science. You're always able to explore, always able to answer her questions. And even if you're wrong, you learn something new, and that's the point. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so kids from other schools can stay in touch, and um, you can share it on your own social media, if you guys have social media. I hope not, but if you do, go ahead and share so we can uh, um, learn with other kids. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later.